What's this? Pedaling feet, but Mike's not on a bike. Water, where is Mike? Here I am, I'm on a paddle boat. And heading out to explore everything. Uh, we'll see. This is actually very pleasant and I recommend it. Um, I don't think I want to lose that. So let's put this in here. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I don't super love, let's take a look. I don't super love that I lean really far this way, but it's because, oh, nope, 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 this way. There we go. It's because it's just me in the paddle boat, and they usually have people to balance out the weight. It's just all me. Oh dear. Um, sorry, uh, you caught me in the middle of a slight panic attack just about water. I don't necessarily love it um i respect it oh yeah hi lake spirit lake god god of the lake god of this lake i uh, respect you and love you i would prefer not to be a sacrifice to you for my safety uh yeah but okay well that was terrifying screaming or just cheerful noises. I can't tell anymore because now all I can think about is how deep this lake is. I don't know how deep it is. Oh, Gus told me a terrifying story about this lake that his kids swim in where the top half is alive, but the bottom half can get no oxygen. And so what happens? Like there's like a layer of life a layer of death, and I, oh, it's a little too convenient a metaphor, if you ask me, but there we go. Um, sorry, that's my hand. I'm just trying to get a better hold of what we're doing. Um, so, this is me moving under my own power on the lake. I'm also really watchful for other people. Oh, so, um... Yeah, I'll, but we'll see it on the way back. I'm going to try to go to where I like to take my chair. The one time I've taken... Do you like... It's a thing... I know I do this. Do you do this? Like, you will take one thing that you liked doing, and you want to be the person who does that all the time. So you construct your sentences about it. Like, you will say, Oh yeah, I'll show you the place where I like to take my chair and read which makes it sound like I've done this on multiple occasions. I've done it once. It worked out really well. Like, that is going to be true. It's a pre-truth, maybe, is what I'm saying. This is how, oh, let me, we steer with this. We locomote through the paddle. Uh, my friend John Wilkes Booth, the ghost, is uh, he's on that side. He doesn't weigh anything, so he doesn't really contribute any effort at all. Like, either he doesn't cause effort, nor does he alleviate effort. But still, it's nice to know he's there. Um, so, this... Oh, yeah, we're coming up. <coughs> Zach and I take a pontoon ride sometimes. We have taken a pontoon ride sometimes around this lake, and that's really lovely. You get a disaffected teen who would rather be what do teens do anymore? They used to go to the mall in my day, but they're probably all changing their monetary signs to... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but look. I love... See? Oh, can you see? Let's zoom in. No, not yet. Wait, is that... Where? Why can't... Oh, there they are. Okay, well... I like that 
sort of clearing there that comes down to the lake. And then there's a path. And sometimes when people walk across it, I think it's very cinematic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am keeping a watchful ear and eye for other boaters who might be experiencing distress from a monster of some kind that might live in these waters. I, I know, and you know, and we all know, by the way, uh, that they're... I don't I can't even, isn't that weird? Like, I can't even say that out loud. <sighs> Superstitions are... I think we can rationalize ourselves. I, so first off, there are people out there, I am sure of it, who are not even a little bit superstitious. Their brains uh, don't have that setting. Whereas I think other brains might heavily have that setting. And then you end up either with, you know, people with what would look to us to be a magical worldview, or you have people who have a magical worldview but who feel ashamed of that and have sort of tried to logic themselves into a logical response. I think I would feel so much better if my bag were next to the yeah, see? Yeah, that's that's what we wanted. Yeah. Anyway. Because I just think, I can't, here's what I can't say. I can't, I worry that if I say that there are, if I acknowledge, you know what, let's do it with something safe. Uh, so, because right now, on this lake, I'm not worried about uh, aliens. But somewhere that my mind will go, uh, like when I... When I'm not regulating it well, and I sort of have, I don't want to call them hallucinations, but just sort of perseverative, terrible thinking, catastrophic thinking of a supernatural quality, by the way. Like that, I can't, that can't be overemphasized with me, is there is an element of the supernatural to it that I just can't, it's just me at my core. And I know not to make decisions. Oh, where I was going with this is. I used to worry. Or I do worry when I'm in a. When aliens are being my main uh, mental enemy. You know, I will think, well, if I think about them, then they'll know I'm thinking about them. And since they know I'm aware of them, they're going to want to either shut me up or see who this person is who can be. I, I just would sort of guarantee that I was going to be abducted. I've never been abducted, but that needs to be in the record, but um, yeah, so since we're, I don't know, I don't know, like I, I can't say that, I'm hoping, I'm hoping you are the listener, are you able to use context clues to get what I can and cannot say about Lake monsters. God, fuck, I thought even that was... Okay, well... Like, I know there are large turtles here. And they're snapping turtles, I think. I like all turtles. I'm not a fan of snapping turtles just because one terrified me once. Let's do this. Here we go. One terrified me once. My friend Steve and I were driving to the starting point of a run we were doing. And on our way there, it was very early morning, on our way there, we uh, saw this giant turtle in the road and we were gonna go help it. You know who didn't want to be helped? That turtle at all really snapped at us. Also, more agile than they look, but they also look fucking prehistoric. It's the worst.
So what I do, what I have done in the past is there's a path that goes around the lake this way. Oh, this is your best directional video ever, Mike. This is perfect. Anyway, there's a place and then you can come down close to the lake and then you'll see there's like a platform, this round platform thing, and it's perfect to set a chair up on and do some reading. This is really lovely, by the way. I absolutely recommend this. I mean, try to get with people who don't have irrational fear. I mean, maybe get one person. That person can be a lot of fun when there's an unexpected bump. Or when there is a lake monster, by the way. Like, boy, you're gonna be with someone having learned the truth quickly about the world. Yeah. There's somebody in front of me. Oh, maybe you can see too. That person in front of me in very bright yellow. You see. Probably end up going past them. Yeah, I think. I want to come and do paddles next. I wasn't sure if I was ready for paddles. Hey, it's me. Yeah, I think the paddling would be good for my arms, and maybe that will help. Like, my legs are a little fucked. Like, I'm pretty sure this paddling thing that I'm loving a lot right now is going to be the death of me this evening, but that will be this evening, and a different mic will deal with that. This Mike's having the time of his life. Woo! I'm not going to do that ever again. Um, <laughs> lots of seaweed in this lake, or what, I, what looks to me like somebody just emptied every failed aquarium in the world here. Oh, let's... Oh, we're just going to float for a second and not do any of this. Um, oh, I wonder, will it let me pause? 